Sure. I worked in, in several positions in Greece. And I looked at most of the portfolios, uh, the government portfolio, the church, um, some local governments, and even banks. And um, uh, there's huge potential in Greece, absolutely, on the corporate side and on the real estate side. But you have to start with transparency, and this seems to be almost like a mystery. It seems like, I mean, this is not the only country in the world where it's like this, but it's just, um, <clears throat> if you don't have this list of assets and you don't have the market valuation, and you're not, uh, we have done a, a, a proper annual review that I usually do in every country that we're working, and, and it was banned to be published, but um, uh, it was a perfectly all right in, in, in every way. And I think this is what you should start with, because then you can start discussing, because as it is now, the discussion in Greece between the institutions and the, uh, and the Greek government is, is a lot about so many assumptions and about so much fantasy um, that the law that needs to be created to create the holding company is not going to work because it's done uh, it's not done with facts so you need to produce the law for the holding company if that's going to be a reality and you but you need to do your balance sheet at the same time these are two parallel processes um, because otherwise uh, as the discussion are, are going as, as far as I understand it's <clears throat> it's still living in a in an old uh, and I think the French government people are too much involved as well or, or whatever advisors there are um, but it's you know it's um, I'm sorry but you know the French doesn't really know how to do this I'm sorry um, but it's still like, you know, you, you want to create this, you want to get the yield out of this, then you have to have hands off and delegate this properly to a board and to a holding company. There is no in between. And I've gone through this. I've got my, both my back, my, oh shit. My, I've got scars to prove it on my back and, <clears throat> and, and um, there is no, there's no in between here. And for those, I, I love to use um, uh, children as a, as a um, <clears throat> comparison. But I mean, if, you, if you're telling your child to, this is how you're going to do this or that, and then you suddenly step in and, and, and do it for them, it's not going to work. They're never going to take responsibility. If, if you delegate to a holding company, you have to give them you know, uh, simple targets like a yield and this and that. This you cannot privatize, this, or this you can never privatize, or whatever. <clears throat> it's very, very simple. But um, if you start having, uh, making directions to the companies uh, during season, so to speak, uh, then you're killing, because then you're taking responsibility. And this goes two ways, because if, if a government um, puts their hand in the jar, they're also responsible when something goes wrong, and they will always go wrong. There will always be scandals in companies and real estate as soon as there are commercial assets. And in the last, uh, last government, I don't care about politics, I'm a technician, but you know, the prime minister was in there uh, dealing with every transaction, politicians were dealing with every transaction because it's fun, but it's not fun. Politicians should just stay away because they will just get involved in all the, uh, because there will always be a cor uh, corruption scandals and all, and let the people who are paid for it take that responsibility. It's much more clever. So, so there is huge potential in Greece, but it needs to be run by professionals and it needs to be run with a clear objective. What is it that we want? And this is not happening today, I'm afraid. Again, thank you to our distinguished panel. I'd like to invite our final speakers of the day, Mr.